Space Nation. I want to welcome you to the channel today. A little wet, cold, and dreary this morning to be fishing, so we thought it'd be a good time to shoot our video about fishing line. Uh, there are three main types of fishing line that we use on our boat. Uh, those are mono, fluorocarbon, and braided line. So you guys stay tuned to the channel here, and we'll talk about these lines with you guys. All right, guys, the first type of line that we're going to talk about is probably the very first fishing line that most of us, including myself, started fishing with as a kid. Old standby, monofilament. Uh, monofilament is probably the most popular line used in the history of fishing, at least the modern history of fishing. Uh, you can pretty much find this stuff anywhere you look, uh, any of the bait stores. Uh, lots of times you can find it at convenience stores and places around the lake. Uh, there's a multitude of colors, brands, uh, sizes. Uh, this monofilament can just go on forever. But we use, uh, on our boat, we use this Cajun Red. Uh, I really like it. Uh, I started using this back several years ago when I was doing a lot of fishing down at the coast with a buddy of mine. And he swore by Cajun Red, and I just, I used it, and I liked it. It's never given me any issues, but I'm going to hold this up kind of close for those people that are new. Uh, you can see monofilament. It's a, it's a plastic uh, polymer top line. Uh, it's made out of plastic fibers. It comes in a multitude of tests. It's real smooth uh, line. It goes on the real, real easy. Uh, one of the issues that you'll have with monofilament is it does have a memory. Uh, it it kind of remembers the reel it cast to a medium distance because of this memory because it creates coils. Uh, it, it tangles pretty easy uh, as far as like bird nesting and things like that go. It will give you some issues. Uh, especially after it's been on your reel for quite some time because of the memory coils. But some of the pros of this line is it's very cost effective. It's available at most stores. Uh, it's good for later materials. This line floats. Uh, it stretches, some people say up to about 25%. It has good knot strength. Uh, it's fairly abrasion resistant. Uh, you have medium visibility with it depending on what color you get and those colors vary from different clears, uh, light blues, dark blues, greens, uh, browns, reds, even bright yellow. So it comes in a multitude of choices. Uh, this line is good for most knots that you would tie. Uh, I tie pretty much uh, Trilene improved trilene knot. I try a, a union knot with it. Uh, I tie Palomar knots. I tie just a, a multitude of knots. Uh, you can snail knot it. It works really good for a multitude of knots. Uh, I like to throw this line uh, on a bait that I'm going to need a little stretch on. I throw it with uh, some treble hook baits such as. Uh, Rattle traps, uh, I throw it on top waters. Uh, like I said, rattle traps, flat sided crankbaits, I'll throw it worm fishing. Uh, I love to throw it with a Senko, uh, something that I need a little bit of, a little bit of stretch and forgiveness with. Uh, I use it for leaders on drop shots, uh, and the most popular sizes for this line for me are 12 to 25 pound test. Uh, on on the bass fishing, uh, different types of fishing will go with different sizes, but uh, it's a high percentage of people use this line. Uh, it's the largest in diameter. Uh, a 20 pound spool of this line has a usual diameter of the line. It's going to be about 0.45 millimeters, so that kind of gives you some comparison to the other lines. We'll talk about those when we talk about the different types of lines, but 
Again, I appreciate you guys joining us today here, so we'll move on to fluorocarbon right after this. All right, guys, the next type of line we're going to be talking about is going to be fluorocarbon. Uh, I'll show you this line here for those new guys and gals. Uh, you can see this line is fairly smooth, uh, fairly clear. Uh, use this line for lots of reasons. Uh, a lot of the characteristics of this line is, is low stretch. Uh, there is a little less percentage of user than monofilament with fluorocarbon. Uh, it's a what I would consider a medium diameter line. Your monofilament is going to be 0.45 and this is going to be 0.40. Uh, you are going to have a clear, almost invisible color with this line. Uh, it's medium price range. Uh, it's a little more expensive than the uh, monofilament. Not quite as expensive as the braid. Uh, some of the uses for this line, I use it for leader lines, of course, uh, connecting that to my braid with a FG or a uni knot, depending on the situation. I uh, love to use this line on uh, jerk baits simply because you don't have the stretch and you can just pop that jerk bait on a slack line and you can make that thing move and just twitch and almost not move forward. Um, I use this in high visibility situations where I've got water clarity over three feet. Uh, and I like to use it with crankbaits as well, especially in that situation. Uh, the most popular sizes for me with this uh, fluorocarbon is going to be six to 20 pound test. Uh, I use a multitude of knots with it as well. Uh, FG knot, uni knot, I can tie the palomar, I can snail knot it, uh, there's a blood knot, there's just a ton of knots, your trilene and uh, your uh, uni knot for worm hooks and just you can't you can't uh, imagine the number of knots that you can use with this line it's just like the monofilament it's got a great knot strength uh, it does not reflect light in the water, no matter the depth. It's, it remains clear. Uh, it's really good if you're fishing a lake with uh, high pressure. Uh, when the fish see a lot of lures on a daily, weekly basis, uh, they get line shy. So fluorocarbon is a good answer for those line shy fish. Also, this line, unlike uh, monofilament this line sinks so if you have a bait you're trying to get down deep and keep down deep you'll want to use this uh, fluorocarbon to help you do that so you guys hang around and we'll talk about some braided line coming up next all right guys the next line we're going to talk about is braided line uh, braided line has a little bit lower percentage of, of users uh, this is going to be more of your your guys and gals that are, are serious fishermen, serious tournament fishermen. Uh, it's the tough, heavy cover type line that you want to use in, in those situations. It's very flexible. Uh, it has a little bit more limited color spectrum. Uh, blacks, browns, and greens are going to be your most popular colors with braided line. It's probably the least cost effective. It's about probably, oh, I would say 100% higher than uh, monofilament and probably 75% higher than fluorocarbon. But this line's gonna last you a lot longer on your reel. Uh, a 20 pound braid is gonna be about 0.23 millimeters in diameter. So it's considerably smaller. That makes it more flexible. Uh, that gives you, uh, a lot of castability. Uh, the pros of this line is the strength of it uh, compared to the diameter, the longevity of this line, the uh, abrasion resistance, uh, and it's very castable and has almost no memory, if any at all. Uh, some of the things that I, I find difficult about this line is it's harder to find. You, again, you have to be in a, a fishing specific 
website or store to pick this line up. Um, it tangles easily, especially in windy situations with spin cast equipment. Uh, you can make a mess with it in a hurry. Uh, the knots, if you get line knots, they are almost impossible to get out. Uh, they, like I said, it costs more than any of the three. Uh, another con of it is it fades a lot in the sun, but this is easily easily change with a, a marker you can use black or green or blue or brown whatever your color preference is to match your water you can just color about 10 or 20 feet of the end of it uh, by dragging it through a, a marker and that situation is easily remedied uh, the knots that i use with this line are primarily the palomar knot the fg knot the uni knot and the snail knot depending on the situation but those are the three lines that we use on our boat primarily to fish with. I want to thank you guys for joining us today here at Greenfish Nation. If you don't mind, if you haven't already, we'd love for you to subscribe to our channel. I'd love to hear from you guys with your comments. If you liked our content today or in the past, give us that old thumbs up. We appreciate that. Tell somebody about us. Until next time, guys, tight lines.